I'm going to teach you how to use Text Compactor in Safari on an iPad and how to copy text from a web page into Text Compactor to summarize that text. This is a great tool for teaching students how to summarize things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Safari and I'm going to first in the address bar here I'm going to put text compactor free online text compactor it's the first thing I'm going to do so that opens up the text compactor for me now I'm going to add a web page by hitting the button here the plus button and I'm going to just go to CNN as a fail safe just a any page anything any document you can also copy from documents and I'll show you how to do that also so if we choose a story that is happening let's talk about the storm that's carrying the wet messy weather to the eastern US like we haven't had enough of that this winter and once the story loads, to make it easier for me to select text to which I want to copy, I'm going to wait and when the reader appear, appears up here, I'm going to select reader. And now I can easily select the text that I want to select because it made it in an easier format. I'm just going to make the text a little smaller just so I can capture more in one shot. So now I'm just going to hold my finger on the first word till I get um, my blue box with its bubbles. And I'm just going to drag down to about mm, the end of the story. And I'm going to say copy. Now once I've copied it, I'm going to touch the tab for Text Compactor. I'm going to hold my finger in the box until the word paste appears and I'm going to paste. Now I've pasted the text into the Text Compactor. You can see here where I've asked the text to be reduced by 50%. So what's happened is I will, once I've done 50%, and I say next, you could see that 50% of the article, the text is reduced by 50% summarizing the article. I can change this number to 25%. And you can see now the article reduces itself to 25% of the article. This is a great tool when differentiating instruction when you need students to get the information but some students need less they need just to have the important information there without all the other extraneous information in order to weed through. It's also a great tool for teaching summarization. Now if I wanted to summarize something from a document that I had I would just do it a little different. I would close out my Safari and say I want to copy something from a PDF. So I'm going to open my iBooks because I have some PDFs in my iBook. Once they load, I'll show you what we're going to do. I'm going to go into my collections and my iBook. I'm going to choose my PDFs. And I'm going to choose a PDF such as do-it-yourself WordPress. And now I can do the same thing with a document. So again, I can hold down, get my bubbles. I can copy as much as I want. I could say copy. Now I need to get to the Safari. Because Safari was opened already, you can see what I can do with four fingers. I could slide to the right and I would have a new page. I can 
close out my text compactor. I can close out using the X here. We can go back to text compactor, paste it in, choose my amount, select next, and it will summarize down by 50% or whatever percentage that you want to use. So this is how you can use Text Compactor to differentiate instruction, to teach students how to summarize, to do a variety of different things.